in a different room. So I don't think anybody's at the Capitol right now. We're all zooming in. Um, I also wanted to just apologize to everyone for postponing our uh, meeting last Monday, uh, March 23rd. So as you know from the media, one of the senators um, tested positive uh, for COVID, which led to a shutdown of the House and Senate offices. Um, and that shutdown for the House is going to run through um, April 4th. Everybody kind of has hopefully a positive, uh, something positive to share. The only one who really doesn't is probably Carl Bottom. So, Carl, can you start off your report? Sure. Thanks. Video back on. So I'm not going to try and share my screen or um, show you anything hard copy. We have... Um, thank you, Speaker, and, and thank you, Peter, for inviting me to, to provide an update. Um, and thanks, Speaker, for referencing Sumner's for the Uhero report that Tim Brown and Sumner came out with recently. We actually have another report um, that should be out hopefully tomorrow that will that actually is making the point the Speaker is making that it's we, we need to start planning right now for how we relaunch Hawaii's economy. And it goes into uh, quite a bit of detail on um, sort of the need to test and trace. Um, and so that, that's a, a report by Michael Roberts and, and Tim Halliday. And I, like I said, I think it will be available tomorrow. The, as you, as you all are aware, I, unfortunately the speaker's probably right. I, I don't have anything really um, very optimistic to talk about. Since we released our forecast report uh, just a few weeks ago, Obviously, the world has changed pretty dramatically. And in that report, we, we did a set of scenarios. And from the perspective of today, the, the low scenario that we, we produced back on March 10th now looks like a overly optimistic high scenario. Uh, we know Hawaii is already in a deep recession. That recession will surpass anything that we've seen in our lifetimes. Um, there's really not any comparison that you can make to an economy where you've basically shut down hospitality and tourism uh, and will remain shut down for several months. Uh, you've shut down much of the local economy. Hopefully that will begin to come back faster. Uh, but even as the health crisis wanes in Hawaii, even if it passes quickly, it's going to take an extended period of time for the recovery to previous economic levels. And the, the really disturbing part about all this is that no one can say with any real certainty about how long the recovery will take. All of the recovery, so anybody who's doing forecasts of, of the economy is essentially assuming the recovery path uh, because we, we haven't identified the bottom yet and there's no, there's no data or models that will tell you how fast this reco recovery will occur. The best you can do is rely on uh, forecasts of the epidemiological recovery and even those are, of course, highly uncertain. So in the current forecast that we're, we're hoping to release later this afternoon, um, or we plan to release later the, this afternoon, we have job losses peaking um, during the second course or, or the trough during the second quarter of the year down about 20% from a year earlier with unemployment rate peaking at around 25%. So income won't fall as much. So there, if you want to have a silver lining or you want not a silver lining, but if you want something optimistic, the federal legislation, the CARES Act that, ex, that is uh, expanding unemployment benefits and, and providing enhanced unemployment benefits um, and providing direct payments to households, those are all embedded into the forecast we'll release this afternoon. And those mean that income will not drop nearly as much as jobs will. Uh, still, the, the income drops will be historically large. So, for the whole, for uh, the, by the fourth quarter of the year, income we expect income to be down about five percent. Uh, with the strong start to the year, the January, February uh, have been very, very strong months for Hawaii, and then with some recovery beginning in the in the summer and the fall, uh, we expect the annual numbers to be much less severe. But still, we're talking about job losses for the year of around eleven percent. Um, real income down about 3% and GDP off by close to 8%. So as I said, there, there is no comparison for this. Um, our forecast for a full year of visitor arrivals is a 41% drop. Um, there, there, 
there's a possibility there's that, well, these numbers will change. And actually, the we've only been able to incorporate the sort of direct payments and the enhanced unemployment benefits, uh, the direct payments to households in our model so far. And these are elements of the CARES Act. The There are other elements there that will support jobs and support income more than what we've accounted for so far. Uh, so, for example, the, the loans to uh, businesses that keep their employees uh, on the books and continue to pay them. Uh, we haven't yet been able to, to uh, address all of those, and we expect to release something later this week that, that talks about those elements, and I'm, I'm sure that Senator Schatz will, will uh, address those as well. Um, so we, and we expect further federal legislation. Uh, so the, you know, the next round of federal legislation will likely be more about uh, stimulus rather than relief, right? So we're really looking at economic relief right now as the economy begins to come out of this and we begin to get back to business, we're going to look for uh, additional stimulus. So one last item, uh, I know that, that tax revenue is, a, is a, an important element. Uh, the uncertainty around tax forecasting is, is uh, as bad, if not worse, than the uncertainty around uh, the macro economy. And so we've been doing some work looking back at the Great Recession and seeing how the forecast models did then uh, under the assumption that you actually knew the path of the macro economy, um, those models still give you uh, forecast errors of around plus or minus 4%. And so in other words, assuming you knew exactly what the path of visitor spending was and, and income and other elements of the macro economy, you still got forecasts that were highly uncertain. So we're likely looking at a range uh, for for general fund tax revenues of minus 10 to minus 20 or 25%. Mahalo.